Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, we are going to be talking about setting up your website. So if you don't yet have a domain and a host, then you'll want to grab your own hosting at brainhost.com or bluehost.com. Those are my two recommended hosts, and I'll have the links below this video. So if you want to use my affiliate links, feel free to do so. I'll get a small percentage if you sign up through me. So this is Brainhost. They're both very comparable in terms of pricing, um, depending on how many months in advance you want to pay for your hosting. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it would work to sign up for one of these companies. So the first thing here is if you don't yet have a domain name, you would type in your domain name. So this would be like I'm just going to make something up here because I don't want to have to search and then find out the domain's taken. So you would just type in yourname.com or whatever domain name that you wanted to use for this service. And if you already have a domain name, you could have typed it on the other side of that box. And what that will do is it'll help you actually transfer your existing domain name to this new hosting provider. So, okay, so yes, the domain I invented is still available. So now you can go ahead and choose um, how often you want to be billed. So if you want to buy 24 months in advance, then you'll get this for a much, much lower price. And also you can take a look here. There are these optional things, domain name privacy. You probably don't need that. Um, same with uh, weblock domain security. And um, automated daily backups. Those are actually a good idea to keep. Um, the only thing I would say is if you're using WordPress, which you will be once I show you how to do that, you can actually have another backup uh, set up for your site. So, you know, that one you wouldn't have to pay for uh, separately, but it's totally up to you. If you want to have your host take care of that, that's a great thing to do as well. So now you would just fill in your billing information, click continue, and you'll be logged into your administration panel. So here's what that would look like. Okay, so here's what your C panel will look like. And we want to use a simple script installation and we want to install WordPress. So we would just go ahead and click on WordPress. It's the easy one click install of WordPress that we're looking for. And now these are already existing versions of WordPress installed on this domain, but we'd probably be starting from scratch. So we're just going to click on install a brand new version. And now this is where we choose where we want this new version of WordPress to be installed. So if you only have one domain, it would literally just be that one domain that you choose. So for example, I might choose this new domain here that doesn't yet have WordPress installed. Um, or I would actually be able to choose a domain and then add something at the end. So for now, maybe I'll do test and it will install WordPress at that testing uh, location. And now it'll also allow you to choose other options here. I'm actually just going to un unselect some of these options because you don't really need these extra plugins and themes right now. And yes, you will want to make sure that you read this license and agree to it and then click complete. So it really doesn't take very long to install. It is a one click install. It takes maybe two or three minutes to actually finish installing everything. And then once your site is ready, you'll want to make sure that you copy and paste this information into a safe place like a Word document or somewhere that you can kind of keep track of all of your logins. And so just to give you an idea here, this is what your WordPress site would look like right out of the box. And then you can log in here to your WordPress site and your username is admin and this is the password that they generated for you. And so you would just log in here and it's easy as that. Now you have your own brand new WordPress website. So now all you have to learn how to do is actually change some of this content on this page, which you can do right here through the dashboard. Feel free to go ahead and take a look at all the options you have here, but there will be another video coming next in this series teaching you exactly how to make those changes. So talk to you next time and way to go on setting up your own website.